Hi, and welcome back to Learn DaVinci Resolve. Today's video is going to be on video noise reduction. This was suggested by Arthur Bell on the DaVinci Resolve users group on Facebook. So thanks, Arthur, for the suggestion. A couple of caveats to start off with. Number one, video noise reduction is only available in the studio version. So if you have the free, free version, I think you can play with it and get a, a watermark if I remember right. Um, or it just won't let you do it. Can't I just I don't remember. But in the studio version, you have full access to the noise reduction. Second, it takes a lot of horsepower. So what you're going to see on here is a 2016 MacBook Pro 13 inch has a pretty bad video card in it. There's no discrete GPUs. So my performance is going to be really bad. Um, but you know, you'll see what it kind of looks like on a pretty average machine on a higher end machine, like my 5k iMac, it works really well. You have a machine that's got really good video cards in it. It's going to perform even better. So, uh, as you can see, I've got two, uh, this, of the same clip here on top of each other. I have one crop to the left and one crop to the right. So we can actually see the difference, uh, side by side as we work with this. I'm going to take this full screen. You can see that there's just a ton of noise in the sky. And when I play it, you'll actually see some flickering effects too. And you see my playback is not very good with this piece of footage, but just tons and tons and tons of noise in here, banding, all kinds of stuff. So let's see what we can do to fix this up. We're going to go to the color page. Whoops, that's the fusion page. Didn't mean to do that. We'll go to the color page and go over to our motion effects. Motion effects are split into three sections, temporal noise reduction, spatial noise reduction, and motion blur. We won't be using motion blur because this footage isn't applicable to that and it would just make things smoother. We're going to start first with temporal noise reduction and then move to spatial. And hopefully we'll be able to start seeing what we can do with this footage. Uh, the side that we're going to be working with is the right hand side. Uh, I'm going to reset my node, node grades just to be on the safe side here. So the left side will not have noise reduction, the right side will. So when we look at it uh, afterwards, we'll be able to see the difference. So starting off, we can choose how many frames we want to analyze. On a like a static lockdown shot, tripod shot, you probably don't need many frames. It's you're not, things aren't moving around, so you don't need to worry about the number of frames as much. This footage is moving. It's not moving fast, but it's still moving. I could probably get away with three or four frames, but I mean, let's just go for it and we'll choose five frames for it to analyze. The uh, motion estimation type is, I'm going to go with better over faster. Uh, the results should be a little bit better, but it's going to be slower. So pretty simple. And how much motion range is in the, the shot? Well, there's a good amount of motion range, but it's not super fast. So it's not I don't think it's a tremendous amount. I think I'm going to be able to get by with medium on my motion range here. Now we get into our temporal threshold. And these are things that it just takes playing with to try and get it nailed down. On the basics, I think I can get by without individually adjusting Luma and Chroma. The Chroma is going to be like the white noise. The Luma, I mean, the Luma is going to be the white noise Chroma is going to be colored noise. I have a mostly Luma in here, but just for the sake of simplicity, I'm just going to set this at 25 and we'll see what we come up with. So now I'm going to go ahead and go full screen and let's see if we can tell a difference. And we have a lot of noise on the left hand side and it's actually looking better on the right hand side. It's not great. There's still some grain in here but it's actually already an improvement. Now, trying to play this back is not going to happen. Uh, it's going to go really, really slow. But uh, I'm getting a couple of frames per second there on this machine. But in some spots, this is right the dividing line where the mouse cursor is. So you can see the left has a lot of banding, a lot of noise. The right side is actually looking 
pretty darn good. So let's go ahead and see if we can tweak this some more and go to the spatial noise reduction. So a new one in Resolve 15 is enhanced. So of course, we're gonna use enhanced. I think that's gonna be fine. We don't have a lot of variation in this, so I think I can get by with a small radius for it to be analyzing. It doesn't have to be analyzing the whole thing. It just needs to come up with a color profile. And again, on my uh, settings here, I think I'm just gonna start at 25 um, for lack of you know uh, anything better to, to play with here and let's see what we're looking at here so this should take a moment to render out now you can see a pretty drastic difference you can actually see the line going right down the middle of the screen with the raw footage on the left the noise reduced footage on the right and it looks really good it went from absolute garbage footage to very very usable footage so again i'm going to try and play this and now that i've added the spatial noise reduction i'm not going to get any playback at all uh, this machine is just too slow for that so what I am going to do is I'm going to go back to my edit tab. Uh, actually, I'm just going to go ahead and go to my deliver tab. And I'm going to export this. This way we can actually see it played back in real time after it's rendered and see what it looks like. Uh, nice full screen, full resolution and everything and I'm gonna start this render process. And you'll see this is probably gonna take some time. Now, I did really cut down the size of this clip in order for it to not take all night to render, but I'm still gonna have about 20 minutes, 30 minutes or so of rendering this piece of footage. So I'm gonna pause everything and we'll be back as soon as it's finished. As you can see, we completed in 32 minutes and 12 seconds, not record breaking or neck breaking speed, but um, it got the job done. So let's go ahead and find the footage here. And I'm gonna go full screen here. And we can see just on the first frame, all the noise on the left and much cleaner look on the right. So let's go ahead and play that. You notice how there's also flickering over on the left, and I thought I was going to have to use the, uh, there's a plug-in uh, color fix, I believe, to fix that, but I didn't really need to do that. It smoothed it out pretty nice, but we've had a tremendous reduction in noise and huge improvement in overall image quality between our left and right side here. So hopefully this explains how to use the noise reduction in DaVinci Resolve. Like I said, you have to have the studio version, so there's that cost, and you have to have a, a powerful machine in order for it to not take all night to process. The question is, is this better than neat video? And well, yes and no. Uh, there are times where neat video will do a better job. I have tested them side by side and where this clip took about 30 minutes to render, had I used neat video on this same machine, I'm not talking about other machines, I didn't compare them, but on this machine, it would have taken hours to complete. So neat video can do a better job sometimes, but it is a lot more processor intensive. But I think for my purposes, for the stuff that I do, the noise reduction in DaVinci Re Resolve just nails it. And it does a fantastic job. And it took footage that I normally would have thrown away and made it into usable, showable footage. So Arthur, thanks for asking the question. And I hope this helped. And we will catch you next time 
but be sure and subscribe if you like the content. Hit the bell icon to be notified. Share it with people if you so please. And thank you all for subscribing and help making this channel successful. Really appreciate each and every one of you out there. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.